has to be only with really joy in your heart, gratitude in your heart, this thing of wanting to do and enjoying doing, you know? When it becomes hard and it becomes terrible and it becomes a drag, it's because you make it that. You have to look at it and begin to find the extraordinary, the really extraordinary part of it, the wonderful things, the things that are full of wonder. A teacher is not just to bring flowers to, he's to give you a shit to, you know? I mean, and he's to break it down and give you back something wonderful. You have to be willing to get rid of yours, to give it away, and you also have to be willing to take something wonderful in return. It really has to do with your capacity to be intelligent and to realize it's your right. It really is your right as a human being. It really is a marriage of your energy and something higher. The only thing that can come out of it is something more wonderful. And you have to meet the force that way. Kundalini Yoga is nourishing of all the centers in your body. It really is where man is a plant and he's a natural thing, you know? And the reason the world is screwed up is because nobody is open inside, they can't receive energy, and they have nothing to nourish themselves. People die without a rebirth because as they get older, this thing doesn't carry Shakti in them. The whole thing of, of knowing anything of your past life is that you can reach the nourishment of your past life. Well, your past life doesn't have to do with living a thousand years ago, it has to do with yesterday too. If you're not conscious of your past life of yesterday, what does it matter if you can remember what your past life was a thousand years ago? You love God, you have to love life. You have to really begin to understand that. That every single thing that happens, you know. I mean, you walk out of a car, you step in dog shit, then you have to think how lucky you are. You know, it means that something good is coming. You know, it really is what it is. But if you sit there and scream at every dog in New York, it's not gonna help you, <laughs> you, know? you know? I mean, you have to really begin to do these things where you turn everything into energy, everything into surrender, everything into work. And Kundalini Yoga is opening all of these muscles, the muscles of self-pity, the muscles that haven't been energized, all of this. And you suddenly say, look, it's you. It's not them. It's never anyone outside. It's you. And you're living for yourself. You're not living to spite somebody. You're not living to show somebody else how wonderful you are. You want to live and be happy. Well, it's really to change. I mean, to accept and to take all these things is really to accept the potential within yourself to change and to grow, not to stay the way you are. Rejecting is to stay the way you are. So it's your right to take it, and it's essential for me that you take it too. So you have to really open in your heart and bring your mind down here and open and ask and want. <laughs>